actually had a dream to open an ice cream shop in the mid 90s <laughs> and uh, kind of in I guess 2009 um, things were sort of coming together finally for me to realize that dream and I got in touch with my cousin Tyler who was just starting culinary school and he moved into our basement and started making ice cream in the kitchen and <laughs> things uh, sort of unrolled from there. We opened a food cart um, in Alberta Arts District in Portland and then shortly thereafter opened a store and um, it's kind of actually been a lot of organic growth so um, to be now here in Disney World is sort of mind-blowing. Talk about the name first, I'll talk about it. Okay, I'll talk about the name and then Tyler makes all the ice cream so he can tell you <laughs> what's special about the ice cream. But we make all of our ice cream by hand, um, the inclusions that go in the ice cream. Um, so we wanted to name the company, uh, give a nod to the way they made ice cream at the turn of the century when it was first introduced in the United States and they would obviously churn it by hand. And so they would add rock salt to the ice, so that's the salt. And then they would pack it on straw or hay to keep it cold because we didn't have freezers. So that's salt and straw. All of our flavors are, there's so much thought and intention and in that handmadeness that goes into every flavor. Um, so, you know, we love this idea of having a dynamic menu that really draws someone in. We want to entice someone to taste all of the flavors. If you come in and taste all 17 flavors, we'll give you like 10 high fives because <laughs> you made it through. Um, and we encourage that because that tasting experience is just like going on a ride at Disney, you know, like it, that is what it, what our shop is all about. Also, um, we like to reflect what's local um, in our menu. So Tyler could talk about some of the local flavors that he's done in partnership with, you know, folks from Florida that we've met during this journey. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we this is part of our ethos 100% ever since we started in Portland. Um, and when we came to Miami and came to Florida, we realized like this city and this, this area has its own unique flavor. Um, we worked with one coffee maker, for example, Panther Coffee. Uh, who makes this really, really dark roast, but with single origin beans. Um, so kind of bringing that nature of kind of a single origin artisan coffee from the West Coast, but with kind of the more flair of, of you know, maybe Floridian kind of dark roast coffees. Um, so we made, we actually combined that with a chocolate tres leches ice cream that is, it's really, really cool. It's so rich. It's nothing like any coffee ice cream we've ever made on the West Coast. So you can kind of see how these partnerships actually mold us and allow us to create flavors that have never been done before. And then I think Tyler alluded to the fact we change our menu every four weeks. And so when you come to Salt and Straw, you're always going to find something new. We like to use ice cream as a form of like storytelling. So I think it's such an incredible um, partnership to have kind of a small artisan company on this global stage, and that Disney would take a chance and you know partner with us in this way, and that people from all over the world would be interested in what we're doing and what we're bringing forth is an incredible honor. I don't play favorites. I, I've made, I think, maybe 1,200 ice creams in the past 10 years. Uh, 1,200 good ice creams. I've made another 2,000 bad ice creams. <laughs> um, I think, uh, honestly, the fact that we change our menu every month is a big deal. I fall in love with one flavor every month, um, and I like learn everything about it. I have so much fun making it and tasting it and eating it, and then, um, and then it disappears and there's a new flavor. So there's something magical about that. Mine's strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper. That's I a love much easier so answer. Much. <laughs>